hello hello welcome back to my youtube channel i'm here today and i'm going to show you what's been growing in our little yard garden um it's very interesting this is a step up from what we were doing last year we did um container gardening last year and then we actually decided to put a raised bed in the ground and so i wanted to just show you what we've got growing um and i've also got some q-tips out here because our cucumbers are popping off and they really need to be, um, what is it called, pollinated. Um, and I'll also show you how I don't really have a lack, like a lot of flowers. And I planted some flowers like a week ago, but I'll show you. So let me just turn the camera around, let you see what we've got growing on, growing on, and um, I'll explain along the way. Okay, first off, let's start with what we have up here. We've got just random stuff that we need to clean up. And I've got this really cool hoary hoary knife that I got from Bigo Garden. I'm excited for that. It's been very helpful doing different stuff. And then I've got my fertilizers, my soil acidifier, and I, the trellis I need to actually use, but I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, that's our watering can. These are were aloe plants from a friend. And I need to repot that one. I need to rinse them out, start over. And then this, I think I wanna do something with. It's more aloe that my friend gave me. And then in here, we had um, radishes and carrots. I planted them at the same day, like same time. And you see all these weeds growing, oh my gosh. I need to do something about it. But I've harvested all of the radishes and I've got a couple left in the fridge. I think I got maybe like 10. It wasn't that big of a harvest, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed them. These are just carrots left and I'm not thinning them. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. And then in here, we took all of the containers from our plants that, and we put soil in them, a seed potato in each. From, I got seed potatoes from Lowe's and they are growing. They don't have flowers yet, but I think we should be getting flowers soon. And then I've got some fertilizer sitting in there. I haven't watered anything yet today. Um, I'm gonna check the weather before I water, make sure I don't like over kill stuff. That one has recently turned yellow, not sure why. But that's what we got going here. Now this whole setup right here is not permanent. This is just what we're doing until we get our extended patio. Or I keep saying extended patio, but who knows if that will actually happen. That's just what I want to happen. Okay, this is our first blueberry plant. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to do something. I don't know why some of it is pink. I guess there's some kind of deficiency in here. Don't really know. I've also planted some carrot seeds along the edge because I wanted to maximize growing space. But this soil is acidified, so I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see how these carrots turn out in the soil that's been acidified versus regular potting soil. But, um, you know, we've had this for, this is the second year we've had it. So first full growing season. Not sure if we'll get blueberries this summer or fall, but it's pretty to look at. It's just an extra pot. This is our, I think that's the emerald blueberry. I think this is the pink lemonade um, blueberry. And it has put on a lot of growth. It's very tall and I had some radishes through here. I've already pulled them and eaten them. And they tasted just fine, even though the, this soil is acidified as well for the blueberries. Um, very interesting stuff. And then this is our raspberry plant that is literally popping off, okay? It has put up so much primacane in the past two months. It's unreal. And then we've got one floor cane. So this, I've got too many things in my hands. There's a branch right here that has fruit on it. The birds have beat me to some of them, but I did get three raspberries. And so that's exciting. I think in about a month, I'll trim that off and then let all of this is new growth. I mean, it used to be like this small. It was so tiny. I'm excited for that. A lot, a lot. So pretty. And then we'll come over here. I've got my green stalks. This is what I need to do. I need to pollinate our cucumber plant. Um, so I, I think I need to set my other glove down really quick. Okay, I'm hoping that you can hear me just fine. The HVAC unit just kicked on. But, okay, this is one of our green stalks. And then there's the other. I put the trellises on 
about a month after I built them and filled them and planted them out. And then that's a partial trellis over there because I've used like different spots. I did not plan where I was going to plant things like at all. And I've noticed that some things need support and some things don't. Um, but yeah, so over here, it's our cucumber plant. I used to have it on the bottom and like a week ago, I had to like restack this whole one so I could support that. Um, I totally over or underestimated how much support each plant would need. And you see in here, we've got all these yellow flowers, like all overloaded. But the ones that are gonna produce fruit need to be pollinated. So I've got to sit in here and find which ones need to be pollinated. Um, let's see, I can show you. This right here, that's a male flower. So it doesn't have a little tiny fruit attached. But right here is a tiny fruit attached. So that's a female flower. So, okay, let me see. I should have brought a stool out here to sit down. But, okay, so I'm gonna take my little Q-tip and this one right here, yeah, that's a male flower. I'm just gonna tickle the inside. I don't know what I'm doing really, but I'm just touching the inside of the female flower. I don't know. We'll see if that works. And I can't hold my phone and do this to all of them. So I hope that was good enough. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just, I think I found all the female flowers. I'm gonna show you the cutest one right here up front. That's a mini cucumber. It's so cute. Let's see if I can get it more visible. And then it's just growing like crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was a bush plant. It's just not. Okay. And then right here, we've got some marigolds. I got a pack of four from Walmart, like in March. And I put them in the green stalk. So these are original from the start. And then I took some of the seed pods, sprinkled it out. I've got another one right here growing. And then a lot of these open holes you see right here, I have already put a seed in of a nasturtium seed so we can have like actual flowers. I'm not totally sure if that's gonna be a nasturtium, but maybe. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then this is another cucumber plant I planted a couple of weeks ago. This is the M.I. Gardener Cucumber, planted on 5, 12, 24. So we'll see if that one also trails just like this or if it stays a bush plant. Not totally sure. This is a Mountain Magic, let me see, tomato. I believe it's determinate. Yes, I actually did it right. I remember when I got these in the mail from Vigo Garden, I had this plant over there in the bed and a indeterminate over here. I was like, oh no, no, no. Gotta switch that. So I had to come out here and dig them up and switch them. But that is looking really good. It's got like really dark green leaves, like medium dark green. I don't see any yellowing. It's looking like it likes where it's living. And then I've got a cluster of flowers back here ready to open. So excited for that. And so we've been, we've harvested a little bit off of this romaine plant and then I went ahead and planted a ton more romaine. I believe this is celery, but I don't think I put it in a spot where it can really thrive. So we'll see, there's the other marigold. And what did I put in here? Sugar daddy snap peas, literally did not germinate. So it's just gonna be an empty pocket for a little bit. The red fire leaf lettuce is really good. We harvested some of that. I believe I've got, I believe I've got a lot more um, romaine that I sowed. No, this is more red leaf lettuce. So we really want more fresh lettuce. What the heck is this? I guess that's also that, okay. But yeah, so let me see. Okay, then this is the star of the show, okay? These are the Magnolia Sugar Snap Peas. And they are loving where they are, I believe. Also, it looks like our cilantro down here has gone to flower in one of the pockets. I'm just letting it do its thing, whatever. Let me come around here. Okay, so it does look like it's struggling a little bit for these magnolia sugar snap peas but we do finally have something growing i think i'm gonna harvest it today so 
here's what the flower looks like before it makes the pea. And it look right there. It's so pretty. And then this is a baby pea growing. And I've got this one. I think I'm going to harvest this one today. Because so I think I'm going to try it. And I believe, yeah, this is our first one from this plant. And like it's, I didn't realize how much it would want to trellis or want to grow up. I thought it would flow over my plant trellis. But it is like trying to support itself. Like it's growing up and it's grabbing itself. Like it's making its own lattice. It's so freaking cool. And then, yeah, see it's like reaching out here trying to find something. But then it's just got a huge support system right there with its tendrils. So lots of fun things here. And then right here is a sweet bell pepper, like the snacking kind. And we've got some flowers on it that look promising. Um, I honestly, when I tra transplanted that, didn't think it would last. But okay, here we are. There's another romaine plant we've been eating off of. I sowed some more basil. And I think, I'm hoping that it'll like the shade from this cucumber plant. There's some more basil down there. I realized I really wanted a lot of basil. So I just like went heavy on it. And some more sweet bell peppers right here more marigolds. This is a transplant from Vigo Gardens of Rosemary, I believe. Nope, thyme. LOL, thyme. So good. We've used it on pizza, pasta. We've got more basil growing. I hope it gets really bushy. I so I like really heavily seeded it. And right here is our edamame. I planted two edamame on 512. And today is the, it's June 2nd. So this is how much is put on in like two weeks. And I'm gonna have to wait to see if I need to move another trellis down. And then all of these open spots again, I put nasturtium seeds in. So hopefully they'll take off soon. That was about a week ago. I think it's got like a pretty long germination period. But we shall see. This is parsley. This was also a transplant from Vigo Gardens. And the chives were also a transplant from Vigo Gardens. Um, right here, what do we got going here? Growing here, more cilantro. Maybe if it's in the shade more often, it won't bolt. I don't know. But these towers get pretty much full sun all the way around all day. Um, and then I sewed really heavily some romaine so that we can t do cut and come again. Maybe not let them get into full heads like that one, but get it like a grass almost and just chop come back and more basil so yeah hopefully in all of these pockets we'll get some flowers soon i need them and then we're coming over here okay so we had like this is a freaking weed that's a freaking weed i can't really get it out of the ground I don't know, it's pretty far down. Okay, I think I got it. I don't think my onions are gonna do like anything. So I had onion starts all the way around and we had bunnies come in and there's like a bear patch right there, but our bell peppers are looking pretty good right here. I also sowed some, some basil along the corners. I'm not sure, sure like, if they're popping up, I think I see weeds, but we'll see. The bell peppers have flowers on them. Very exciting. I need to come stake them. And this one, it's being dramatic. I don't know why. Okay, those are gone. But yeah, there's another bell pepper. This one is a really good, I'm gonna tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I don't know if that's what you're really supposed to do, but oh, I didn't mean to freaking drop that flower. Shit. Okay, well, damn it. But this one is the Sweet 100. That one's, I really need to get a cage for it. This one is Pink Brandy Wine. Okay, and then let's see. I'll go through the tomatoes. This is 
sun gold cherry tomato looking pretty good I haven't been out here to do this I came out here a couple days ago and um, what is it called when you I took the suckers off pinched them and then I think this is actually gonna go well this is baby corn I don't know it's looking promising for now and right here is the Cherokee purple it was very sickly for a while but I think it's coming back and then I did some companion planting of basil around so we'll see if that takes off I don't know so like this is a basil plant right there and then over here in the middle I planted firecracker and fireworks peppers I don't think they're gonna germinate but I just threw it in the ground to see what happens and then over here this is the habanada I see something promising pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to grow peppers but I'm doing it and over here I believe that's more basil so like this onion is just not going anywhere pretty bad and I also seeded some lettuce so this is lettuce right here I believe I just threw seeds down <sighs> kind of some chaos gardening the cucumbers I here had here instantly died they were transplants from Vigo garden instantly died and that's what it looks like okay so that's our garden tour um, today is June 2nd so I'll try to update like in a month or something or unless something really crazy happens and I'm really excited it's a, a huge learning curve and yeah but it makes me happy and then I think I, I think I'm gonna try it um, this is the purple magnolia and no, they call it magnolia sugar snap pea maybe it's called purple I don't know it's from botanical interest and this is the one that we picked earlier I don't think there's a string I'm gonna try it Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Since this is the first one, I'm gonna save some for my brother to try. And hopefully in the next couple days, I'll be coming out here and picking more every day. That's really good. Okay, bye for now.